This is a cost that now causes a bankruptcy in America every 30 seconds. By the end of the year, it could cause 1.5 million Americans to lose their homes. In the last eight years, premiums have grown four times faster than wages. And in each of these years, one million more Americans have lost their health insurance. It is one of the major reasons why small businesses close their doors. And given these facts, we can no longer afford to put health care reform on hold. We can't afford to do it. It's time. I'm Lisa McSwain. I live in Edgecombe, Maine. I'm a healthcare activist. I got involved in thinking about healthcare reform because when we started um, to offer health insurance to our employees 12 years ago, it was totally affordable. It was a great benefit to be able to give. 12 years ago, we had about 15 employees, and now we're down to five employees. We can't afford to keep paying the high premiums that we were paying for so many people. And we're at a point right now where I don't think that we'll be able to afford to pay the premiums anymore. Healthcare reform is not a choice anymore. It's a necessity. Unless change occurs immediately, we will continue to witness the collapse of our economy. I would like to see healthcare reform so that I, as an employer, did not have to make life or death decisions for my employees in terms of their health care. I would like to see a system where everyone was treated equally, everyone had health care in a fair and equitable way. I'm Robin Lewis. I'm Lorenzo. I am a health care activist. I am a health care activist. The main reason why I'm so active and passionate about this is because I'm, I'm living proof of what's going on. And my child is living proof, that his friends are living proof, that there is not affordable health care out there. At the age of 14, my son was diagnosed with a cancerous brain tumor. And he had to have surgery. Because of this health care system, my son and I were separated. Because I couldn't afford on my income as an ITC of Children's Services to pay for health care for him. So we had no other alternative but for him to move in with my father. And he has to have MRIs every year and visit his neurologist just to make sure that the tumor isn't growing. But my son has short-term memory disability. And we really, really need to stress the fact that our children and our young adults that can't take 12 units in college and be on their parents' insurance for whatever reason. Their parents should be allowed to have affordable health care for their children. My name is Robin Lewis. How are you doing? Good. I'm going around telling people about um, health care reform. I'm Vicki Schmidt from West Fargo, North Dakota. I'm a health care activist. One of the things that I center my life around is a verse that says, do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with God. And those are the callings that we all have to do just, it's an action verb. I'm adopted, I found my birth family and my birth sister had a disease, a disease called scleroderma, which is a very harsh, harsh form of arthritis. Her skin had turned to stone actually. And there were some new medications and some new opportunities for helping people with scleroderma. But she was on medical assistance and the new drugs wouldn't be covered. She died basically penniless and without access. That was a thing that really hurt me, that there was hope that she couldn't access. I believe very strongly in that we all have to be accountable. At some point in our lives, we're going to be accountable, whether it's on this earth or the next. But we need to know that we have to somehow sense our own calling in this. Not everybody's going to stand up in Washington, 
But if they come to a house meeting and they tell their neighbor, they're doing something. Hi, it's coming. <laughs> come on in. Patty Skolnick from Colorado Citizens for Accountability, and I am a healthcare activist. I got involved in advocacy work about four years ago after the death of my son due to a medical error and decided I couldn't go back to corporate America. I needed to do something to help change the broken health care system. Are, are patients involved in the decision-making process as a whole? We've been on such a chase of getting insurance and having affordable access insurance for consumers. But if you don't have quality and you don't have safety, it's like a bicycle without wheels. Um, so that has to be part of the equation for consumers to know that. Quality, safety, and access affordable health care, it has to be all one package. What good is having insurance if I still do not get quality care? Well, the need to come together as a, as a national movement to bring about health care reform so that each and every person living in our nation gets the highest quality care they can. I really hope that we can be there so we can push the things like prevention and education that are so very important. We're glad you're here and um, at this House meeting about health care reform. We have to make sure that this conversation is having in every living room across the state. That there is a letter to the editor in every paper across this state. We need everyone to get involved and okay. to make this happen. Healthcare is a big problem. Young people shape the world. It's going to be us in the future. It's time we took back the power of the people and said, I'm going to take a role in this because it affects me. The time now with this administration could not be more perfect to get out there. Grassroots movements, it's like a prairie fire. You know, once it catches on, it, there's no stopping it. I am the difference. I am the difference. I am the difference. You are the difference. We are the difference. We are the difference. So let there be no doubt, healthcare reform cannot wait, it must not wait, and it will not wait another year.